Hello everybody, today I have another page, uh, double page to share with you from the So for the Soul book that is being um, hosted by Anne Brooke on YouTube. I'll put a link to her channel in the description box below. So if you're interested in taking part in this uh, project she's put together, then you can. And these are pages 11 and 12 that I'll be sharing with you today. That was this one here. This was last week's double page spread and that was like a taking a breath page and we made a hole in this top corner here or wherever you wanted to put it. And so our next page is a page called Circles. And this is what I've done. What we had to do was choose a fairly plain background colour. Well, these were the instructions. Now, you don't have to follow these instructions exactly. They're just a guide to help you along. And I'm personally very grateful to have that guide at the moment because it prompts me to do things because I'm kind of stuck in a little bit of a crafty rut at the moment. So I'm very appreciative of them. So first was to pick a plain coloured fabric to go on the background. Now I have picked this pink. I used the pink here and it's a very fine uh, color and so I had to double it up to go over the patterned fabric here and what it was is a dress and that was the only plain bit and this is the um, the see the plain bit was at the top here and it was gathered to a little bodice and this is the bottom of the little dress here like that and so I've used that fabric because I don't have a lot of just plain fabrics and this is in the color that I want that I have chosen to use on every page and what I did was I just pulled that ribbon see how that ribbon comes out quite easily I pulled that ribbon out so it has some machine embroidery on the fabric but it's still a plain color so that's what I've chosen chosen I did not have to double it over because it's just against the wadding after that we had to uh, mark off where our hole was going to be so that uh, we didn't stitch in that area. So we just drew the circle. Uh, you can feel it through the fabric. Um, you draw it on the reverse side and just leave that part blank. And then we, ha then we were to mark I'm just looking at my instructions. I wrote them down as I watched her video. Mark off the circle and draw the circle, which is what I did. Cut different size circles from various fabrics. So I chose a few fabrics that I've already been working with throughout the book and I've just made some circles and we were to stitch those together in decorative stitches and then attach them to the page. Um, it's easy. <laughs> I did the blanket stitch on this one um, before it was joined to the page and it's so much easier to do the stitching once it's attached to the page but I did, I followed her instructions and I stitched around it and then I joined that one to the page with some French knots. Uh, this one here, let me lift that up, is a series of three circles and I've just done some lots of straight stitching, some French knots, some blanket stitch and more French stitching. There was a pink flower there on the fabric so I just went over it. I've attached a little doily because I've attached a doily to every page that I've done so far. Lots of this little seed stitching I went around that one which kind of you know makes the inside puffy and then I did the opposite over here and the reason I did that there was so that when I close the page like this that's what you see through the page um, what else I haven't actually joined my pages together too much only where the circle is because of course you have to have that attached together what else I've um, put some buttons on because they're circular. <laughs> I love this one. 
reminds me of, is it Delphware or something? It just reminds me of that sort of thing. I went all around my page with French knots and that one isn't attached yet either. Um, now I did, I was a bit unsure on how to join this page to this page because that, like I said, that's got wire in it and I don't know whether I've done this. I like the way that flower shows through there too. And I don't know if I've done this correctly or not because I, I must have missed it in the video. I don't. I think she just sort of went a few stitches around to attach it. And I did try that first and I didn't like the way mine looked. So I took that out and then I just went around twice with a straight stitch. And then the third time I went around it with a straight stitch was when I actually attached it to the other page. So if I, I can see how I can get my finger between those, those first two lines of straight stitch don't go through to the other page here. The third line goes through but not far enough through as to come through the fabric. So that was the, the way I decided to do it anyway. I'm interested to see how other people might attach theirs as well. I've put this little bit of doily down the side and that is actually part of this, the outer rim of this. A lovely mother of pearl button there, a linen button there and another mother of pearl button there as well. This, because it was a little dress, already had this lace attached at the bottom which makes it look ever so pretty. Uh, so that's, that's paid, oh I've done straight stitches here, straight stitches here, mainly just to keep the eye moving around the page. And um, that's it, that's my pages 11 and 12. We have, I've got another page there to do. And you may recall I accidentally missed a page here, so I'll have to go back and do that page maybe next week it depends what the page actually is going to be so that is my pages 11 and 12 of the so for the soul book that is a project by Ann Brooke who is a textile artist and like I said I'll put a link to her channel in the description box below if you're interested in this project go to her first video on it that way she can explain it to you and show you exactly what you will need to start the project because it's quite a large book now that's not the front that's the front there it's getting quite large and I still haven't joined my pages because you know I want to add lace and bits like that and I thought I'd leave that till the end and then that one there leave that to the end when I'm putting it all together so that is that I don't think I have anything else to show you project wise I really I've been out and about a lot well a lot for me <laughs> I had to go well I didn't have to it was my son's birthday on the 1st of August and the first opportunity we got to spend some time together was this week because he works um, like from 12 noon to 12 midnight so you know unless he pops in it doesn't really give us a chance to do anything and today I oh not today sorry on Monday I went to where he lives which is a town that I don't normally visit um, and we went out for lunch but we also popped into a couple of of shops there as well or thrift stores whichever you want to see there wasn't a huge amount of things it's the same sort of thing as around here you know the stocks are quite low at the moment because they haven't been able to take any donations but I did get a couple of things so I will show you that just to sort of um, show you something so this oh, this was kind of all at the same time um, so the first thing I found was this, this was a dollar and it is some silver sequin and this lovely creamy colour sequin. It looks very vintagey, doesn't it? Um, and there's quite a lot on there. It's still in, it, it's all still in a bag um, that I put it in on Monday. I haven't unpacked everything because I've, I had to go out again today as well. So I got that for a dollar, which was 
wonderful, I thought. I got, I got this, and that was $2. They had like this store, and it's, um, it's almost like a co-op type thing. I think that's what you would call it, where people put their goods in there and sell it on commission. And so there was all this lace. So there's that, and that quite a lot of that there and that was two dollars and then there was so each little stall set up had different things from different people so there's this lovely little cotton trim here for 50 cents and I've had something very similar before and I really like that so I grabbed that um, oh, I got this one here and I got this one where, oh, no, I didn't. It was a different one. I got, oh, yeah, this one came from that one. Some lovely old Rick Rack. Um, that was a, a $1.50. That one, those two came from the same thing. I think this one, is there another one in here? Oh, no, I put it back at the store. This on oh, it was this one came from the same one as this one here. And this is a really nice lace as well. I'm not quite sure if it says that's what that one looks like. A nice white lace. And that's a cotton lace. No, there's no, um, it doesn't say how much it is, but it's nice. And so it doesn't have the price on it. It must have fallen off because they've only got little stickers and they don't stick very well, but it wouldn't have been very much. Oh, and then I found this one. I love, love this one. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's a, it's like a, it's similar to a rick rack, but it's got this beautiful green uh, thread going through it. It's just beautiful, and there's a lot of that on there. So I found that. It's really nice to go to shops you don't go to. Um, I think the last time was a year ago I went to this shop, so it was really nice to go there. I found these three pink buttons they're really pretty pink and they've got those little circles behind them so that was that's sweet i got a bag of bulldog clips and there looks like there's a is that a it's like an amplifier jack or something in there as well intubation anyway some nice um, clips because they're so handy and you, you use so many of them so I got that I got these which is just a roll and I think these were only a dollar they weren't 33 that's the actual price of the fabric um, and they're just samples and they were rolled up so they're quite pretty but I love the floral ones aren't they just lovely is that one, that one, and that one. It's really pretty. So for a dollar, I, I mean, by the time you, you cover them, like, they're not really, that one's all right. Um, they're not really my style. I can use that one. Um, but you don't end up seeing a lot of them sometimes anyway, so... So there's that. What else is in here? Uh, oh. Yeah. oh, I got some more safety pins. They were 50 cents. They're always nice. Especially, look, there's little gold ones in here as well. So I've got those. Uh, got these. They are shoe stretchers old shoe stretches. That was a dollar. Um, that was a dollar. These are for decorative purposes. I got another one, but I've already got it on display. I'll go get it and show you. It's really nice. There was only one of these, it didn't have a set, but this one, it 
kind of folds up. That was a dollar too. They had a whole box, not of this, otherwise I would have got the other one of this, but a whole box of the other ones, and they were all a dollar. Um, but I like this one, so this is already on display somewhere. I got, oh, I got this, I don't know. This was a, it was a dollar. Most things were a dollar. It was really good. It's a creator lope. Oh, it just got really hot. Um, it was freezing cold here yesterday. From, like Arctic weather almost. <laughs> I do exaggerate. Um, and today it's quite a lot warmer. So one of them's broken. The larger one is broken. They're just like templates to make envelopes. That's the size of the card you would need. So you would cut, you know, you would mark your paper the size of this. And um, I think it would go that way to fit that sort of thing. Uh, I thought that might be useful rather than having to get scoreboards out all the time and things like that. You kind of, once you've cut your paper to that size, you just put that inside and you can just fold it over. And there's the larger one too, but when I, when I had a look at it before, I noticed part of it was missing, so that's probably why it was there. But the, the, the smaller one might be useful. And then last, lastly, I found this, and this was three dollars, and it's it's called the Queen, like a newspaper. I think it must be missing its cover, though. It's there we go. It's dated March fourth, nineteen twenty-two, and it's like a magazine or something. And it's all about the Queen. Uh, no, not the Queen. It's all about the princesses. She's about to be married. She's about to be married. So it's all advertising regarding, you know, um, ladies things for when they get married and things. Look at these lovely images here. And there's the bottom. It's really big. I've, um, I'm going to have to put it under something, look at the underwear, um, to straighten it out a little bit. Beautiful advertising. I don't often come across this sort of thing, so I was really happy to find that. That's, uh, that's, see, that's, that's inside. That's not the outside cover. The Ladies Newspaper and Court Chronicle. Oh, look, see, Saturday, March 4th, 1922. So that's been inserted into here because that's a later. Oh, no, it's the same. I thought I said something different. Never mind. Um, look at the cakes. It's all scrunched up there. So this is going to be fun. Beloved, let us love one another. This is music. The Royal Wedding. For, all right, Princess Mary is about to be married. I really haven't looked at it that much, so um, that one's ripped. But there's all the pictures of Princess Mary from when she was a young girl to when she was about to be married. So this will be interesting. And lots more advertising there. To straighten it out. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Huh. <laughs> Grain is cured in three weeks. <laughs> going to be nice looking through that I think. I'm skipping lots of pages as I go through this. And there's the toilet.
Hmm. I'm sorry it doesn't show the whole page as I'm doing it. It's just, it's really big. Like papers today are very big as well, I guess. That's lovely find that. I like these pictures here, I really do. Mm. Anyway, so that was what I found on my adventure out on Monday, yesterday. It's Tuesday today. Goodness, time flies by, doesn't it? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing all that. Oh, I found that as well, but that's not really crafty. An over-the-cabinet rail for a dollar. Sold as is. I wonder if it's still working. If it's, I'd say so. It's, it's just a hanger, isn't it? But the packaging's ripped. So it just goes over the door. They always come in handy, so I mean, for a dollar I'm going to grab that. So... But there we go, there's my Sew to the Soul book and my lovely goodies that I got on my little adventure this week. So take care everybody. Hopefully I'll get back to my, um, my book. I haven't done anything else on it yet. It's just, oh, the days just go by and I've been doing things you know, helping my mum and things like that. And it just, it, we'll get there. We'll get there one day at a time. So take care, everybody. Bye.